Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Now it has been a very, 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 very long time since I've actually done a sit down solo me talking video to the camera. If you follow the channel, you know that me and my instructor and coach Brian Bates do a um, a little podcast, what that's called Karate Ramblings, where we talk about things on karate that are on our minds, that we, we, we bounce off each other in a good conversation, which... I do enjoy and it's been a lot of fun but it's been a while since I've just been me with my own thoughts just sitting down here and talking about something so but what I am going to talk about today is going to be very similar to our last conversation <clears throat> you have to excuse me my lungs have been kicking me in for the past three weeks oh that's the good stuff anyway <coughs> there we go Recently, um, there's been a lot of controversy around um, karate combat. Now, karate combat was once held up as that beaming uh, shine and of light, that beaming light that every karate kid was like, this is real karate, this is what we want to do. Some people loved it, and some people were like, no, eh, not too much. That's fine, karate doesn't have to be all things for all people. It suits people for what they need and to be completely honest it's a combat sport with a specific rule set not every club is gonna do it the karate combat way some people want to focus more on stand up some people like their clinch work some people like their ground stuff that's fine train the way you want to train it's all good fun that's the main thing but back to the backlash and this is where things are going to get a little dicey i'm going to try and be as neutral as i can but those that know me, I am heavily opinionated and very critical. Yeah. Anyway, so recently um, there have been a lot of changes. So changes have been in a lot more association with crypto investors. There's been a lot of bad behaviour on promotion from athletes. There's been um, uh, on Instagram account uh, some very uh, weird stuff. Um, all the way in stuff where they have their hands up and they're facing each other for the promo shots. There's people kicking and hitting each other and spitting at each other and whatnot. There's been a lot of like bad behavior to drum up hype for the actual events, which is something that is part and parcel with combat sports. But people, a lot of karateka just don't like it because it's not in tune with the more modern ideas of karate and it's, um, it's principles that it's trying to get across, you know, it, like you come to a dojo, you train, you get on good with people, you respect, you show efforts, you don't talk down to people, it's give and take, and you have a bit of fun with it. But there's no hurt, there's no malice, there's no thing like that. Although, to be fair, if you did speak to the uh, original masters, they could tell you probably something very different. But um, for those who don't know, the old masters were a bunch of old drunks, so that got into fights on regular basis. But that's not the point. The point is, in modern karate, we are setting good examples for everyone that come in, comes into the jojo, regardless of age, gender, ethnicity, religion. Doesn't matter who you are. You come in, you show up, you have a good time. We'll make sure you have a good time and you show some effort. And we're best friends. That's all I need. That's all I need when I see new people come to the dojo. And as someone that's come into a more of a teaching role in the last year or so, that's what I like to see. You know, just it doesn't matter if you're good at punching or better at kicking or even if you're a bit shy. You know, you come in here, we'll work with you. That's what it's about. We're not here to show any kind of disrespect. Unfortunately, the big face for karate right now is karate combat, and there's been a lot of that sort of behavior going on recently. So, uh, recently, uh, those behaviors have been um, seen on their promotion, and I'm not saying it's linked to the guy, but these sorts of weird changes have been coming in uh, from the latest karate combat president, President Asim, or Asim, I'm not sure how to pronounce his name. He likes to call himself President Awesome on his Instagram. Fair enough. He seems to be a very um, energetic kind of guy. Very you know, hyped up, you know, let's get going kind of thing. Uh, not saying there's anything wrong with that. Um, I think it is, is, might be a bit more of an American thing. I'm 
I'm British, so I'm I'm very sarcastic, so that tends to track, I suppose. But anyway, I'm not saying that all these new things are his fault, but these things are coming in under his watch. So recently, and I thought this was a very interesting move from him, President Asim did a uh, Ask Me Anything Q&A session on the Karate Combat Reddit subreddit. So, I am going to read through some things. I did have a little bit of a conversation with him myself. Uh, I'm going to read through some of the questions. I'm going to read through my questions. I've got my laptop right here with all the bits and bobs there. So, let's start off with my questions that I asked him. So, I asked him, um, there's been a lot of backlash to the new um, direction in Karate Combat that's angered some fans. Uh, there's been the uh, association with crypto, which is known for a lot of scamming. Not really the sort of thing karate's into, unless you're a McDojo. Um, there's bad behaviour from athletes, and there just seems to be a lack of karate values. I asked him, what is Karate Combat going to do to address these? And is there any uh, changes that he's going to implement? So, I think that's a fair question. What does he respond with? He says... This is a great question. I'm, I'm, I'm paraphrasing a little bit because it, it's long. Uh, we always want to uphold the uh, value traditions of the martial arts, but at the same time, I do not believe in forcing anyone to act in any sort of way. I would hope that everyone maintains the value of martial arts, but if any someone decides to step past that line, that's their freedom of expression, and I will not punish them for it. We as fans choose whether to like the person or not, but I am not for putting restrictions on anyone's personality or character. That being said, I believe five out of 40 fights got a little too heated at the face-offs, and in my personal opinion, that's a healthy ratio of madness, ha ha. Now, basically in, my, in the TLDR version of that, he is saying, um, you know, we want people to be respectful, but we can't control what people do. Now, from that initial thing, it almost sounds like if there's going to be bad behaviour, that's on them. We can choose whether to like the fighter or not. We can choose whether to hate on the fighter, not follow them on their socials, not watch their fights, tune out, don't care about them, etc, etc. But I don't think he quite understands that um, when we have fighters that are representing the entire martial art, on this big stage that is watched by millions, hundreds of thousands, whoever else chimes in and watches Karate Combat, that they are the face. They are what everyone is looking up to when they see and think about karate. They are the role models. And if they're not there and presenting themselves as good role models, it's a little bit of a difficult one because like you said, A, you can't control people, that's fine, but you can at least let them know, hang on, you're here, people are watching from all over the world, children, or well, teenagers as well, will be watching to a certain extent. Do we really want to put on a bad show and just be an absolute dick? I think that message needs to be put across to some of the uh, promotions that I've seen. I mean, I keep seeing the same ones, but... Uh, yeah, he said it was about 5 out of 40 fights got a little heated. Don't ask me what that is in percentages, I'm not a calculator. So, is that a good thing? I mean, I suppose it's better than, I don't know, 6 out of 40, if that, but um, anyway, let's move on. I asked him, okay, thanks for your answer, that's interesting. If a fighter does behave badly or aggressively in a way that is not a sportsman-like way, is Karate Combat going to implement a penalty system to deter this? He says, if there is a situation where it would, that was excessive, then without a doubt, the fighter would be penalised. That is... That's better. That That is what I was looking for in my initial answer, if I'm being perfectly honest. Um, unfortunately, um, this... Uh, I'm not going to criticise President Asim too much, but... I will say in his answers, he is very, um, he's very well media trained, if that makes sense. He's, uh, he answers things in a way of like, it happens, it happens, I can't control everyone kind of thing. And true, you, you can't control everyone. That, that's not a problem. I'm not saying you should control everyone, but he should be helping there to implement a standard, you know, 
to get into Karate Combat, if I believe at one point, you had to be a, a WKF, JKA, Kyokushin kickboxing champion in some respect, a podium place. So that's a standard that they implement there. But in terms of behavior, you know, if someone is naturally aggressive, it almost seems like, oh, this is uh, good for promotion. But someone else commented on that. Um, well, way to not take responsibility to present awesome's um uh thing and it does seem very much of like oh um it a it took me a minute to get the actual answer out of him and b it does seem very much okay then they'll get penalized but you know i mean what does that actually entail um uh, to be fair i could have that that might have been my fault there i could have followed up and said could you explain more on what this actually is? What is the penalising? Uh, is it a deduction in their uh, contract money? Is it, um, I don't know, red carded from a fight? Um, I don't know. I mean, I know they're putting on a, a show. If they start getting rid of athletes, then people are going to leave. But I sh it would be interesting to find out what this penalisation system actually looks like. I mean, you can't exactly just sit, sit them in a corner, face the, face the wall and say, think about what you did for 10 minutes. I mean, come on. Um, so President Asim also responded to that guy and said, um, the gentleman seems very happy with the answers. Not sure why you're so angry. Would love to have you visit our gym in Miami when you have the chance. Okay, well, A, the gentleman seems happy with your answers. Well, I am a gentleman sometimes, but um, not sure why you're angry. I don't think the guy came across as angry. Um, again, it might be the British thing. I just think he sounded sarcastic. But um, would love to have you visit our gym in Miami when you have the chance. Now, don't like that. Don't like that. Now, I'm not going to lie. Some people say, oh, if you don't like the way I do my techniques, by all means, come to my... Uh, dojo, come to my gym, come to my club, and see it for yourself. You know, by all means, come train with us. It's a friendly environment. We're happy to have new people in and train with us. The way he, f it sounded like, was like, not that he was unhappy with his techniques, but rather, come to my full-time MMA gym. For those who don't know, he runs an MMA gym called the Goat Shed. Don't know why. Might have a thing for farm animals. Couldn't say. But, um... I know, great, great, greatest of all time. Forget that. But saying that out of the blue, oh, come to our gym in Miami. I mean, read it as people from all over the world. So what if this person lives in Thailand, for example, you know, or if this person lives in India or, um, uh, I don't know, Eastern Europe or South Africa or something like that. Like, yeah, just let's casually just go to Miami to go to this gym where this guy's got all these MMA fighters to um basically tear people apart i mean not saying that they will be that they have nasty people at the goat shed but i'm saying that comes across as aggressive i mean as the president he should be like i understand these concerns you know he shouldn't be issuing things that sound like passive aggressive threats i'm sure he probably wasn't being that but that you also have to understand how that comes across in like messages where you, you have no way of emphasizing words on the internet and that's how a lot of arguments probably end up happening uh he asked me on uh instagram what i didn't like to see i gave him a bit of a list i said uh, there was an athlete of a bloke called luke rockhold now he's a professional karate combat fighter i'm sure he's very very skilled you know very well up fantastic good for him it's just a very weird video i saw of him the other day of him beating up a sauna was the, was the temperature setting not right? I don't get it. It, it was a very weird moment, if I'm going to be perfectly honest. Um, don't quite know why he decided to beat up a sauna, but it's one of those ones where, oh, it's Luke Rothold and um, Karate Combat. It's, um, if you're associating with people who just casually destroy things, it's just a, you are therefore promoting them. So it's like, I'm sorry, what is the point of this? Could we have the guy, I don't know, doing some bag work or some hitting the mitts or I don't know doing some conditioning or some cardio just can we have something that's just not aggressive pandering you know um second one I said was oh there was two athletes that were kicking each other off one of their face shoots um 
there was another athlete where um, someone had the karate belt around their neck, the other one yanked it down, and everyone, everyone in the comments, and everyone that I knew said, that's not the best idea, because you could actually injure someone's neck. I mean, um, anyone that works in a clinch knows that you have to be careful around the neck. That's very, it's very delicate. And if you're going like that, with a big solid um, rope of uh, cotton around their neck, you know, it's probably not the best idea before a professional fight. If that fighter gets injured, I'm sure it will take a fair bit for them to get injured. But on the odd chance, this is how injuries happen. They happen on the odd chance. They don't actually happen um, in the big, big hits. You know, the people can recover from bruises. But the moment a joint goes wrong or a ligament tears, that's when people are in the shit. And um, I also saw um, at their kickback event, the one with Rick Ross, there was the police showing up. And... Um, I saw President Asim on a podcast talking about uh, this, like, it's something to be celebrated. I'm just like, mate, this is US law enforcement. Um, in England, you know, there's a lot more um, restraining and there's a lot more um, talking down, as far as I'm aware. I mean, I'm not up to date on police statistics, believe it or not. But um, he, these are police officers with guns that have authorised to do whatever they need to do in their own culture. I'm not commenting on police culture or brutality or history or whatever like that. I'm just saying, why are you bragging that you're holding the police outside your house when you've got a big party going on and they're like, oh, excuse me, your neighbours are getting pissed off because of the noise. Just saying. He says, oh man, the police showing up at my mum's was awesome, haha. <laughs> We loved her fun at KC and the fact that seven police cars showed up and didn't break up the party showed what great law-abiding citizens we are at KC. The sheriff joined the party and enjoyed his first karate event as well. Fair enough. Uh, I will say it's a little bit weird that when a sheriff is responding to a call late at night uh, due to this massive party, he's like, okay, fine, I'll join in. What was the police doing there in the first place? Was it because of the noise? Don't know. But if the police are showing up and then he's like, oh, the police joined us. Was that a publicity stunt? I can't tell. Let me know. Then I said, thank you for your answers. Thank you for your time. I'm just trying to be respectful here. But I'm genuinely curious. In the circles that I train in recently, there's been a lot more interest in watching one championship events which, like Karate Combat, are also offered free on YouTube. One Championship differs from Karate Combat in obvious ways, um, being very different rule sets, but with, with this, what we've discussed so far, a lot of people seem to be wanting to turn off KC and turning on One Championship. I wonder what the viewing numbers have been for the recent kickback events with Jits in the Pits. Honestly, I think that's a great name. Whoever came up with that name definitely deserves a raise. Solid marketing, well done. I I'm being serious with that. That's not sarcasm. Um, before that, so I'm, I'm sure President Asim respects one championship promotion, but does he believe that the actual practicing karateka will remain watching karate combat after the recent backlash and not switch over to something like one championship, which again is also free and has also shown a lot more often? Oh, that's good. <clears throat> he responds saying, very good questions. We look at the analytics on our socials and streaming platforms. KC has quadrupled the view in viewership and engagement. Without doubt, some have been angered by this new direction, but there have been exponentially larger audience added to the fan base of KC. Fair enough. For the first time ever, KC is finally mainstream, which is why you see names like Sean O'Malley, Aljo... Topuria, Kenny Florian, John Anik, Bisping, Masvidal, Nate Diaz, etc, etc. I'm sorry if I butchered any of those names, I'm just reading the text. Supporting our events now. What strange is some of the largest names in the combat sports would believe KC just began only a few months ago, which shows me that this is a whole new audience being added to our league. Dubai will be absolutely epic. I hope you and your friends decide to watch again. So, 
after getting all these various combat sports names, Karate Combat seems to have actually increased in viewership. Mm. It's interesting because I genuinely thought with what's happened, a lot of um, traditional karateka would be switching off. Doesn't seem to be the case. Well, maybe the karateka have switched off, but the karateka in terms of the combat sports world, in terms of like spectating the sport, are a minority. The people who go and watch these things are more MMA fans, jiu-jitsu fans, those kinds of things. So I responded with, interesting, I wonder how much the quadruple audience was from the BGJ and MMA athletes. I can respect the increase in viewership and the name supporting the events. Anyways, that's all the questions I had. Thank you for your answers and your time. He says, you are awesome. Thank you for the great questions. Definitely learned a lot from writing with you. Now, in my opinion, that influx is from the MMA crowd. There's no way else to describe it because they've got now got the jiu-jitsu events, jits in the pits. They've also got more amateur fights, which I think a lot of like people and influencers are joining in on. So you've got that crowd coming in as well. And... Um, yeah, it just seems to be an influx that's not karate, or at least not... Tra the thing is, I have to sort of give him a bit of credit there, because that is success. Not success in the way a lot of karate combat fans want. A lot of people wanted karate combat, then people joining karate clubs, then pursuing the karate combat movement. That's what, believe it or not, I was probably naive enough to think that as well. But let's not forget... This is a business. President Asim was chose to run this business with a direction and a vision, you know. It's, um, from what he said, he's succeeded. He has succeeded in making Karate Combat a bigger, bigger event. And a lot of people have been doing videos about how Karate has very much gone. How Karate is not here anymore. Karate is here. Someone, uh, the name was Combat Self-Defense, did a very good YouTube video called Karate is Dead and That's a Good Thing. Great video. Bloody good video. Would highly recommend if you've not watched it. Yeah, I'll try and put a link in the description if I remember. If not, you can just Google the name Karate is Dead and That's a Good Thing. Or just search Karate is Dead in YouTube. There's about 20 different videos. But um, Karate has gone through its... Um, it's self-defense in Okinawa phase, to it's Japan phase, to it's sending fighters over to Thailand to fight phase, to it's against boxing phase, to it's spread around the world, to it's through its heavy um, like 70s and 80s phase where it was very popular and everyone was going there and then the people who were training then seemed to have issues with their knees now because of the dodgy stances phase. Yeah, that was a phase, believe it or not. Ask anyone from that era, their knees are fucked. And... Um, it went through its McDojo phase and it's been through its karate, um, its practical karate phase. People like uh, Ian Abernethy um, promoting that movement where there's a lot of karate works in the clinch. And nowadays karate is going through its karate combat phase or its combat karate phase as some people call. And that's, you know, that's we can work in the clinch, we can get those ni nice and tidy shots in and we can... Um, we can uh, work as a longer range uh, kickboxing style or even a close range kickboxing style. Karate is one of the most versatile martial arts ever when done correctly. Tons of full contact fighters. I mean, if you if you look at the people helping to promote um, karate combat, you've got Bas Rutin, George St. Pierre, Lyoto Machida, uh, Stephen Wonderboy Thompson, Bas and um, uh, GSP uh, from Kyokushin, I'm quite sure. Um, Leota's from traditional Shotokan and um, Stephen Wonderboy Thompson as far as I'm aware he does American Karate Kempo, probably wrong someone correct me if I am wrong but what people have done there is they've taken their Karate and they've made it applicable to this combat sport now Karate Combat is getting kickboxers, Sander fighters MMA fighters <clears throat> all these people in to do this thing called karate combat. They're not karateka, not not traditionally speaking at least. They're just following the rule set. That's like going to a boxer telling them come do MMA and they go in and they say, oh yeah, I'm my martial arts now is MMA. Well, your, your martial art is boxing, but you used it well in MMA, if that makes sense. 
you're still a boxer. You're a, you're an MMA athlete. It's semantics. I'm talking too much. But the point is, karate combat is a rule set. It's not a martial art. It's a rule set. And President Asim has succeeded. But at what cost is what a lot of the karate people say. At what cost? Has it cost karate its reputation? Has it uh, cost them its fans that started it off? Don't know. I mean... The thing is, I've switched off from Karate Combat myself. I still follow them on Instagram because I'm interested to see what happens. But um, the internet, looking at other uh, questions on the AMA, I mean, a lot of people either seem to be a lot of... Um, <clears throat> there's a lot of criticism and there's a lot of, like, compliments. So some people are like, oh, I love this fight, I love that fighter, I love this, I love that. Great. And then there's other people who just don't seem to like the president. And the thing, things that he's actually done. Uh, someone else commented, why did you flush the promotion down the crapper? Someone, and then he replied, oh, sorry, you feel that way? We've increased our viewership, etc., etc. We hope you can watch the Dubai event. Um, people were asking about the Kumite event, where they want that back. Um, and someone said, where is the karate? I'm guessing that's probably an insult. Um... Just, yeah, there seems to be a lot of mix, and I'm not going to lie, when President Asim finishes talking with someone, he either invites them down to his gym, or he says, can you tune into the Dubai event? So, this AMA just feels like it's trying to get the Dubai name out. Again, it's publicity, it's him trying to say, hey, we've got this happening soon, I'm, I can answer your questions in my neutral way, join us for the Dubai event. Publicity. And on Reddit, it's free. I'm pretty sure a lot of Reddit doesn't like a lot of promotions, but this is the Karate Combat subreddit. So anyway, <clears throat> the, um, the points here is the internet is very divided. Do I like President Asim? No, but I don't dislike him. He's a businessman who did what he did to achieve Fair enough. He's a martial artist. If this is what he wants and this is what is getting him success, nothing's actually going to take him away from that until he starts failing. And when I say failing, stops making money. Welcome to capitalism. You get jackets. I know you have to pay for the jackets, actually. But the point is, he's succeeding. Do I want to watch Karate Combat? No. Do I like one championship? Hell yes. Absolutely. That's the one for me these days. But, you know, if you do like watching Karate Combat, if you do like The President's New Direction, or even if you dislike it, let me know down below, engage with me. Um, I know I'm not always on YouTube these days, but I am constantly on my Instagram. If you want to hit me up there, by all means, I'm happy to chat if I've got time. And also if you're coming to me with something interesting, if you're coming to me with an OnlyFans promotion, sorry, but I'm trying to promote my own OnlyFans. Um, no, nah, I'm kidding. I don't have one yet. But, um, yeah, let me know what you think. You know, I hope that you enjoyed today's video. Um, I'm pretty sure the AMA is still up. If you want to go through and look through some of the questions, by all means. But, yeah, Karate Combat has changed. In my opinion, it's never coming back to the way it was. Is it a bad thing? Maybe. Maybe not. Still not going to watch it, though. Anyway. That's all I have from me for today. Thank you very much for watching through. This is ending up being a longer video than I thought it'd be. But regardless, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe. Follow me. Hit me up on Insta. You know the usual, guys. And of course, as always, I wish you all the best with your training. Take care.